Hello to you out there. I'm Farhana Zia. I wrote Lali's Feather, and I'm happy to read it to you today. But first, a little bit about myself. I was born in Hyderabad, India. You can look up the place on a map. I immigrated to the United States in 1967, a very long time ago. When I write, I use childhood memories but also experiences I've had living my life over here. My inspiration for Lali's Feather? Well, I think there was a little bit of Lali hiding inside me when I was her age, but I also took inspiration from the boys and girls who used their creativity and imagination to have a good time. I love the way the book has turned out. I think that Stephanie Pfizer Coleman has illustrated it beautifully, and I particularly think that she's made Lali look very cute. Here's Lali's feather. Lali found a feather in the field. Whose feather? She did not know. It was a sweet feather, though. Uma, was Little Feather lost? Lali set out to find Feather a home. Rooster, Rooster, is this Feather yours? Lali asked. Na, Lali, na, Rooster replied. My Feather is a big Feather. It makes me a lordly bird. That feather is a little feather. It's not mine. Crow, crow, is the feather yours? Lali asked. Na, Lali, na, crow replied. My feather is a perky feather. It makes me a speedy bird. That feather is a pokey feather. It's not mine. Peacock, peacock, is this feather yours? Lali asked. Na, Lali, na, peacock replied. My feather is a fancy feather. It makes me a handsome bird. That feather is a plain feather. It's not mine. Cheeky birds, cried Lily. If you don't want feather, I shall keep it. And that is what she did. Feather and I will do 100 things, Lily said. She ran to show Hen her feather. Go, go, giggled Hen. My feather can keep my babies warm. Lali, oh Lali, what can little Feather do? Feather can do this, Lali said. Lali and Feather wrote a note to Goat. Ooh, ma, Hen exclaimed. I didn't know little Feather could do that. Lali ran to show Duck her feather. Go, go, Duck chuckled. My feather can keep me dry from shore to shore. Lali, oh Lali, what can Pokey Feather do? Feather can do this, Lali said. Feather and Lali swept the floor from door to door. Ooh, ma, Duck cried. I didn't know Pokey Feather could do that. Lali ran to show Blue Jay her feather. Go, go, Blue Jay tittered. My feather makes everyone say ooh and ah. Lali, oh Lali, what can plain feather do? Feather can do this, said Lali. 
Feather and Lolly fan the fire a little higher. Ooh, ma, Blue Jay cried. I didn't know Plain Feather could do all that. Feather and Lolly made Sister sneeze. Feather and Lolly tickled Bapu's toes too. Little Feather twirled and whirled, it shimmered and glimmered. Wah, it's a clever feather, observed the birds. Then big old wind burst with a whoosh and gave little Feather a great big lift. Feather flip-flopped, teeter-tottered, up went Feather, up, up, higher, higher, over the huts, over smelly bins, over mango tree and tamarind tree. Holy Feather, stop! Feather didn't stop. Feather flitted, feather fluttered, feather floated away. Ooh, ma, feather, sweet feather, sobbed Lolly. Rooster wept too. Lolly, dear Lolly, you can have my feather, cried Hen. It cannot write a note. But it's a warm feather. Do take mine, cried Duck. It cannot sweep a floor, but it's a dry feather. Here's mine, cried Blue Jay. It cannot fan a fire, but it's a colorful feather. But Lolly didn't want their feathers. Lolly wanted her feather, her little, bulky, plain feather. Lolly, dear Lolly, dry your tears, Crow cried. I will bring Sweet Feather back in a jiffy, in a snap, in the blink of an eye. Crow flapped his speedy feathers and flew from tree to tree. And Peacock? Why, he also flew, because he missed Feather too. Fly, birds, fly faster, faster. Wait, Feather, wait now. Jay ho Lolly's feather came back. Hip, hip, hooray, cried the birds. Lolly, oh, Lolly, we want to play with feather too. Lolly and feather played in the field with friends until the end of the day. The next day, Lolly found a button in the field. Whose button? She did not know. It was a shiny button, though. And that was Lolly's feather. I hope you enjoyed hearing it. And I'm wondering, what would you do if you found a feather? Or what would you do if you found a button? I would love to hear from you, so please do write and let me know. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye.